Cliff Moore, number two amateur wrestling news for Intermat. Big matchup here, Steve. The Moore brothers have beaten some great wrestlers, but they've lost to some mediocre wrestlers. The Moore brothers, twins, more twins need to step it up and, and beat two of the nation's best from Iowa here. This is where Moore wants to be. He wants that left underhook. Josh Moore, 25 falls in his career, 12 this season. This is his move. He gets the left underhook and he does a reverse headlock that I call a cruncher. Well, he just beat Whip Durton of uh, Oklahoma in the NWCA All-Star. Me? Yep. Big double overtime victory from War. Nice shot! Surprising shot at that. But this is where he wants to be. He's got the body. He's going to fit. Oh! Oh, he's got a short drag. He's got to finish. He's got to get to the body. Still he's got to lock his hands and get him down. Oh, he's got legs, and that's two. All right for Penn State. Now he's got to go to work on top of Cliff Moore. That was a great effort by Moore. He went from a shot to the body. He, he couldn't get his underhook in the first 30 seconds, so he took a shot, went to the body, Ended up following through with the bear hug, getting the legs in, and this could be a long period for Cliff Moore from Iowa. Steve, the Iowa wrestlers traditionally don't do that great on bottom. They're not used to being They're there. not used to it, exactly and right. I don't think they spend as much time as they need to down there. They don't ride legs, so they're not used to getting out of legs. So if we could pound here, this would be a great opportunity for Josh Moore to get some bonus points. Not just bonus points, but physically wear him down, mentally wear him down. Yep, that'd be a big step in the right direction. Even if he doesn't score any, he'll wear him down. Because it is going to be, this is no, no give me, give me here. This was a, they've had some close matches before. Cliff Moore beat Moore four to three at the Midlands tournament. So just because he's mauling here, that means to stay this way. That's the only meeting they've had. Really working that left arm hard. Yep, it's called the power half. And he's got to get under the arm a little deeper. Moore is doing a good job. I use Moore. Cliff Moore is doing a good job of not getting turned. He's fighting it hard. He's, he's not an easy wrestler to turn over, that's for sure. Well, right now it's Josh Moore of Penn State, the junior from Franklin, working hard. Already has put together 125 in riding time. A minute to go, first period. It's 2-0, Josh Moore. This looks like stalling against Iowa. Iowa's really just laying there. He's not making a concerted effort to raise his base. Moore is aggressively and tenaciously going after the power half. Obviously, the rec call crowd agrees with me. They called a stalemate instead of the stalling on the bottom man. The ref's verbally warning the Iowa guy to telling him that he has to work off bottom. Not officially, but unofficially warning. Unofficially warning him verbally. Oh. Uh, the Iowa wrestler sealed off and he caught Moore's leg coming in. But Moore is, ooh, there's a figure four. That's an illegal move on top. I don't think the referee is catching it. He's slid it down to his scissors. He doesn't have the angle to catch it. We have a better angle right now. Yeah, and he slid it down to his scissors. Now he's definitely got a scissors. Just for a split second, he was in a figure four position. We got 25 seconds left in this first period and Moore is putting a good old fashioned butt whipping on Cliff Moore from Iowa. The riding time now at 210. And he is not going to let him loose. He's going to ride out the period, it looks like. Yep, 10 seconds left. Look for him to punish him during these 10 seconds. He'll try to stretch him out, crank the power half, wear him out even more. So this almost guarantees that Josh Moore will get the riding time point in this match because if Cliff Moore does get on top, he won't mess around with Josh Moore. He'll let him go. That, for the most part, was textbook on top. And he went to work. It would have, he, what he needed to do is extend the elbow a little bit more and yep. be more tenacious with the power half. He was happy to maul him. And I said almost. Yeah. And I think he was content. So, okay, the Iowa wrestlers picked neutral. He chose not to go on bottom. Which is interesting. Uh, I wouldn't want to be under there after that. No. Nope. After, after, at the, so Josh Moore, if he can get another takedown here, that would really be key. Right now, 2 nothing is his advantage. Yep. Josh Moore needs to get back on the offense he was on. That was not a very good shot. That's yep. not the offense he was on earlier. That's where he wants to be with an underhook. He did a great job there. He caught the, his opponent changing off to a double. Cliff Moore shot a high crack, changed mm -hmm. to a double, and Moore pulled him up with the left underhook, countered. 138 to go, second period. Josh Moore, takedown in the first period, 228 of riding time in his back pocket right now. Hey, Josh Moore's moving backwards. Looks like Josh Moore looks more tired than I would have expected. Well, he, he worked hard on top, though. I'll tell you, it's, I'd rather be working harder on top right. than being going through what that bottom wrestler went through for those two and a half minutes. That, that is tiring. So Cliff Moore is clearly well-conditioned after. Oh, he took a bad shot again. No setup. 
got extended. He's got to recover his base and get underhook in. Oh! We got a scramble here. Cliff Moore does what he's supposed to, finishing quickly. Now wow. he'll let him go. He won't try to ride him. He's gonna be concerned about getting reversed. Moore's reaching back, looking for the neck wrench. This is working right up into what Moore wants to do. There's his escape. He gets the escape. Now it's 3 2 let Josh up. Moore. Yep. Let up on the edge a little bit there. Josh Moore is going to need to pick up the pace here. 53 seconds to go in the second. Well, for Cliff Moore, just the fact he's able to stand and breathe now probably, yeah. was a, what probably rejuvenated him. Yeah, Cliff Moore is clearly a, an aggressive athlete that trains hard because he is on the offense. And he got ridden hard for two and a half minutes, yet he's still right back at it with a nice single leg. This is where Moore wants to be right here. Let's see what Moore, let's see what Moore's got up his sleeve. He needs to get that left underhook in there deeper. Whoa. Moore, Cliff Moore is not scared to go out there with him. No, he, he's, he wants to attack. Yeah. All right, what we're looking at is more, more cutting in with a nice sheer cut off, gets his hips back and gets out of there. Josh Moore with a nice escape there. Josh Moore leads 3-2 second period. We got all these Moores in action. Josh Moore from <laughs> Penn State versus Cliff Moore from Iowa. Next up is gonna be his twin brother. And now the riding time point will be Josh Moore's. He has it. He's guaranteed it. He's gotta scramble. He's gotta keep wrestling here. That was a big takedown, Steve. He got taken down at the end of a period. And I told you earlier, Iowa likes to do that. Cliff Moore scored a big takedown with eight seconds left in the period. So it's 4-3 Cliff Moore, but in reality it is 4-4. Yep, and Moore will pick bottom and he'll get away rather easily. And he'll be winning again because with the riding time point. So Moore needs a takedown. If, if, or he might pick top. I, Troy Sunderland is trying to get his attention. I would think he'd take bottom and go escape. He is picking bottom. He's gonna need to take, he's gonna need another takedown to win though. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see if Cliff Moore tries to erase the ride in time. No, he can't, he can't. He, he can't do it. The point right. is, the point belongs. I mean, Cliff Moore had to let him go, his way to win. You, you, it will, he will get that riding time right. point. Had he rode him out a whole period, which is not a practical option. Right. Then he wouldn't have had it. Troy Sunderland is on the edge of the mat, urging his, his wrestler to score. Jo Josh Moore's got to keep wrestling. He can't shut down. Right. In other words, he just can't play not to lose because he will lose. Right. He's got knocked on his butt. He needs to give that up now. He's, I don't know if he knows he's giving up the take on the ref gave two. Oh, he, did he lock hands? Yep. He locked hands. Well, no, I'm not sure what happened, what, what the call is. Looks like he might have blood time blood. injury. Blood, yep. blood time. Okay, Cliff Moore hit a nice double there. Got two. Josh Moore crotch locked him and almost almost got taken to his back. And then Cliff Cliff Moore almost got caught for locking him. Sure double Josh Moore needs this now. He's lost his momentum after that great first period ride. Right. I mean, if he loses this match, he deserves to lose because Cliff Moore has got three takedowns on him. Josh Moore is going to get away, and it's going to be with riding time a tie match again. Right. So for Cliff Moore to win, he's got to get a fourth takedown on Josh Moore. That's right. And, and hopefully. For Penn State, Josh Moore can suck it up and cover. wrestle tough in this third period. He just pushes him out. Now it's 6-5, but it is 6-6 six, six in reality because of the rotting time point that Josh Moore does have. Now, which wrestler can get a takedown and win? Josh Moore needs to keep in those underhook positions. He can't let Cliff Moore get those good leg attacks on him. Playing counterattacks, not the answer for Josh Moore here. He needs to jack up that left underhook. One minute. It doesn't look like Josh Moore has the conditioning to keep pace with Cliff Moore here. Cliff, Cliff Moore is clearly the aggressor. Nice right. leg attack, single leg, clubbed him down with the single leg finish. Now we're looking at 8-5 with Ryan times 8-6. Still, if Moore can get away or get a reversal, he puts, him, he puts himself in position to win the match. Exactly. 40 Bailey, seconds to go. Yep, 40 seconds. Both men working. Now it's Cliff Moore's turn to dominate on top. Yeah, Josh Moore's got to show us something here from the bottom position rather than getting knocked on his butt. Troy Sunderland wants him to stand up. He doesn't want him to wall around on the mat, reach back, which is kind of what his forte is. 20 seconds. Oh, he's, he's giving up a half. Cliff Moore is shooting the half. He's being conservative, though. Almost like Moore was baiting him. Moore's trying to get that neck wrench. It's just not going to happen against the wrestler and the ability of Cliff Moore. What a job by Cliff Moore. The first period, he was pushed around and dominated and comes back and wins 8-6 over Josh Moore. And now Iowa in the lower weights 